first ending. Cool. All of his co-workers were gone. Hello. What did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the this meeting room. This guy's desk he had simply missed a memo. is just no matter how hard Stanley looked, a pencil he sharpener. He couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Why? Why does this guy just get a pencil sharpener again? Who is leaving these computers on? Oh, I got on the desk. Oh, I'm on the desk. It's, is there glass there? Um. Nope, 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 nope. I'll do that later. I, I'm not go. I'm not falling into a void. I like work. I just hate my boss. That that's that's pretty normal. Boop, boop. Ooh, another one of these. Boop. Also, that changes. I can do it every time. I. So I hate Mondays. We. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Mm, yeah, I'll go. I'll go over here. I'll go over here this time. Since I didn't listen to him last time, I'll I'll go this way. For now. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling Where is everybody? Disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. There's probably like secrets or something in, in all of these. Oh, it changed. <laughs> Everyone is unique, you most of all. Ah. Uh, broom closet. I can open the door. Ooh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. You saying that makes me think there's something in here. There was like, nothing why, why here. Why would they put this no in if it wasn't make, something? No path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. You keep talking, which makes me think there's something here. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. <laughs> he wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Well, now I'm crouching. That's something. Can I shut the door? I can. Ha! Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Yes. Standing around doing nothing? Yes! Why? Please because offer you me keep some talking to me. Here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. You keep talking to me, it makes me think that there's something in here, and I want to see what it is. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd mm -hmm. said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for Hey, this is the first door out. I was it able to open. To because literally, so there, there has to be something. Absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend you'll say, Oh, <laughs> did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. Yes, definitely. I your friends find this concerning. <laughs> Knowing my friends, they won't. Because most of the Stanley things I do, most really, people really would really find stupid. concerning, so my he friends He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how Did stupid he is. Did you just insult me? That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Are you insulting me now? You think that's going to make me do what you want? Uh-uh. Well, I've come yeah, to no. a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. <laughs> you got to this broom closet, explored it a bit... <laughs> And we're just about to leave because there's nothing here. When a physical malady I'm definitely of some dead. Sort yes. shut down your That's how I can keep doing this. And you collapsed in front of your screen. <laughs> well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure. Well, I have your headphones plugged in, so there's no way anyone's going to be able to hear you. 
Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person <laughs> video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on you. <laughs> All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Okay. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Do I? Do I dare? I'm gonna do it. Clap. You too! <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hammer controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. No more? Aww. Aww, that was funny! I don't think he's gonna do anything. Aww. Oh well. Fine. I'll come back. Later. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. But, but there's a downstairs. What's What's downstairs? Uh, I'll I'll listen to you for now, but I'm coming back to do that later. Ooh, Ooh this is fancy. <laughs> Ooh, oh, this is a fancy bathroom. This is a fancy money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money to. <laughs> What? I don't. I'm just gonna leave that there. Okay. Okay then. Can I go in here? Ooh! <gasps> There's a panda! Ooh. I'm gonna go this way. Ooh. It worked. What else is around here? I'm pretty sure that's lo is that the boss's office? Yeah, probably. I'm gonna go in the elevator. I wanna go in the elevator. I wanna go down. I wanna go up. Ah, uh, elevator music! It's not as good as FNAF, but I'll take it. Do da do da da do. Is that the narrator singing? Narrator, are you singing with the music? He is. He is. Where am I going? He is it? Oh, okay, I'm kinda worried, because he hasn't said anything about me going in the elevator. That's concerning. You there? What?! No! No! I wanna go somewhere. Take me down. I wanna go somewhere. You can't force me to do this! You can't! I won't! He's definitely singing in this. Does it just continue going till I hit the button again? No! How could you do this to me? Narrator, how could you? I I I, I followed you! 
all. Stepping into his no. manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. No. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known I'm this. not doing anything. You made me mad. I couldn't do the elevator. I'm now upset with you, so I'm not doing your thing. Ha! The boss doesn't Stanley have a just computer. Sat around twiddling his thumbs, I don't think that's like, I, I'm pretty sure he should have useless, a computer. Since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Huh? 221, you said? 221. 2845. Eight. Eight, uh, how about. How about that? Or how about? Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just no! opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. No, I wanted to mess around with you more. I want to leave. I don't want to do this. I don't have any other choices. Eh. No, I want to get out immediately. No, narrator, I am not. In, uh, you are. You have made me very upset. Loading, 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 loading. Descending deeper into the building. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. We. Oh, what's up? Ah! Can I go back up? Bye! Whoops. Nope. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. Um, because I hate you. And I honestly d didn't want to have to deal with <laughs> you. You made me mad for not being able to use the elevator, so now I'm not following your story anymore. Also, the thing he made a sparky noise. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look <laughs> at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive <laughs> rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. I know. I'm not doing what you want me to do. There has to be something else. Can I leave? Won't leave. Let me leave. Let me out. Let me out. I don't want to go back in there. What if I just do the same thing again? I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Cause you can't stop me. Okay, fight. We'll Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? Cause I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Oh, we're doing it again. We're definitely doing it again. Shh. 
Surely this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? Nope. <laughs> Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky of corridor? Of course not. No. Never. It's time uh -uh. once again to Ever. go back up in the elevator. Of course. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The or maybe it's the broom me. closet! This is, this is absolutely amazing. I love this. Oh. And... It's the boss's office again! Who could have guessed it? Oh. Oh my God. It's the boss's office. I know. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. I know. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. Ah! What? The, what? Huh? Huh? What, what is happening? Hello? Can I go? Okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with no. No, wait. No, I need more time to process. You sure? <laughs> I love this. I love this game. <laughs> All right. I have fully come to terms with it. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. Good. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Who wants to do it again? I want to do it again. I'm going to do it again. You ready? You ready? You really ready, Never? Yeah, ready? We're going to do, we're going to do it again. It's going to be amazing. You're never going to guess what I'm going to do next. You're never going to guess. It's going to be absolutely stunning. Of Ooh. course. Going back down in the elevator. Yep. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. Yep. I have no frame of reference to even anticipate it. <laughs> That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that I has know. been stale and repetitive. I know. It's amazing, isn't it? I'm amazing. I'm absolutely amazing at storytelling. Mm -hmm. You guys ready? You ready? You ready? You step out. And boop. Again. I have nothing to say this time. Aw. I just pulled all the fun out of doing it. Narrator, you're supposed to comment on what everything I do. That's your job. Mm. You know what? I've just thought of something. Hold yeah. on, let's stop for a moment. Ah! Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. But yeah. the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. Sure. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, um. so fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice? And slow. As long as we don't say stopped, I don't. I, I would. There like we go. To see Isn't okay, this, this so is, this much is more exciting? You know, Stanley. It seems yeah. like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They want yeah. big, explosive there's, there's moments some, some flung in right in their faces from the very moment that. that things get started. But uh -huh. where's the tension? Where's the know. trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story, the characters? Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? To have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. What you and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to be developed in Can years. I go over there? And it's really all because of you. You're the one who took this bold there's step a, of revisiting like the exact same way. locations over and over. Truly, uh -huh. I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything sarcastic? else out there. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I feel like you're being sarcastic. I want to, have to think. I want to be engaged, 
and not pandered to. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time, and we all know it. A which is truck. why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital and alive. That's why people like you so much, Stanley. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role model, you know. People look up to you. I am? Which is why... Oh, I didn't know when to spring this on I you, I am? But, well, I've gathered a little press conference for you. So that what? you can talk about your work and your storytelling um, and your life. No, thank yes, you. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I yeah. thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have uh, been following no, you from no, the beginning. No, no, they really no, look no, up to no, you, Stanley. No, no, I don't no. know if you realize the no, impact you I'm have I'm not on a them. public speaker, this is no. The kind no, of gesture no. that might leave uh -uh. a tremendous impact on them oh, for no. the better. No, 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 no. Oh, good, we're here. No. Okay, the room no. where we're holding the press conference no. should be just no. around the corner here somewhere. No! No! I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna... Stanley! I don't, I don't, no, no, I'm not comfortable with this, I'm not comfortable with this. Let me out, 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 let me out. Oh no! No, 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 oh, oh no. Oh no. Stanley! Can I go home? I want to go home now. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't like this. 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 <laughs> World Peace Bay. Okay. Ah, yes. Here it is. Just through this door. I don't want to go through the door, though. Let's see here, what's... Stanley! Stanley! I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't... World's first... Okay, um... Doing great. Alright, are you ready? Stage. I've Welcome told them Stanley. you're going to speak a little bit about the nature Stanley of surprise in storytelling. And what it means to craft a, a truly chair, a unpredictable gum, table, narrative. Bar. Oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm, I don't... I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Yeah, I, I don't okay. want to do this. It looks like they're ready for you. Go get them. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. You can't make me... Oh, I have a little... That's cool. Congratulations. Remember where you came from. Your co-worker. My co-workers are, are kind of gone. Where? Where? Okay. Let's see here. I can't. Oh, I can't read it. I can't go closer. Ah. Up again, down again. Okay. I don't want to go. The... Dude who came up with pizza. I'm pretty sure the guy who came up with pizza is not alive anymore. I don't want to do. I don't want to. Oh, no. Uh, 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 no, no, no. Ah. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Nope. 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 Mm -mm. I am. Not, I'm not someone who who does that. <laughs> was that an ending? I think that was my least favorite. Okay, not my least favorite. Uh, I I like going in the elevator again. Okay, but me personally, like standing up in front of a whole lot of people talking. And yeah, no. Hey, what was an ending? Okay. Okay. Hey, it's the painting. <laughs> 